Barton in the Granatelli Motorsports booth here to talk to JR Granatelli about his very new product. It's the Cobra Winch Tower. Let's talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So when I started racing, I needed a way to get my car on the back of the trailer. And a lot of times when I would do that, the car would jerk back and forth. So we came up with the Cobra Winch Tower, which allows us to integrate the winch into the receiver. So now not only are you towing your vehicle, but you're also using that same tongue, if you will, to pull the winch. So now you don't get that articulation of the car jerking back and forth. Wow, that sounds very complicated, but yeah, it's so simple. Okay, so let's talk sizes. You have different offerings, correct? Right, so what I want them that would fit everybody's needs. So we came out with, we have a four inch pad, which means it's four inches above the trailer ball. We have six, eight, and even a 12 inch pad. So that means you can put the winch anywhere between four and 12 inches above the trailer ball. And that covers two things. The first thing it does, it allows you to put a big trailer or a little trailer. More importantly, it gets the winch as high as it needs to be so that you can winch your car onto the back of your trailer. So let's example, if you have a really low car, you wanna have that cable as low as possible because you don't wanna take the nose of the car off. But if you had a side-by-side, -side, like a quad or like a new Rhino or whatever, where, the, where the, the pickup point is much higher, you would need that extension. So we have that 12-inch riser specifically for that. All right, well, speaking differences from like a Rhino to a car or a truck, do you have different levels of these? Right, okay, so what you're asking about is the power to weight ratio, and we have that as well. We offer it with a 2,000-pound winch, 4,000-pound, 8,000, up to 12,000. One of the questions a lot of people ask is, well, how big of a winch do I need to get my race car on the back of the trailer? So we, our standard system is a 2,000 pound winch. So that's 2,000 pounds of pulling. So if you have a 4,000 pound car, you don't need a 4,000 pound winch. You only need 2,000 because you just want to do is pull it up. Really, if they made a 500 pound winch, that's all you really need. And then, you know, we wanted to venture off into the Jeep market. A lot of the guys saw what we were doing and the Jeep guys were like, hey, we need, we need a way to put a, uh, an 8,000 pound winch on the back of our Jeep you can now pull that 8,000 pound winch on the back and still have your trailer. When you get to the campsite or wherever you're going, disconnect your trailer. You can take your, your 4x4, whether it be, I call it a Jeep, but you could even take your huge diesel truck out there. If it gets stuck, boom, yeah. you got 12,000 pounds of reason to pull you out. Finally, the friend that's pulling all your friends out of the mud, right? Front and back. <laughs> And let's talk about too, when you have like the smaller ATVs and things like that, you have a way to fit those? We came up with what's called an inch and a quarter receiver groove. So a lot of the UTVs have a smaller trailer receiver and that standard is inch and a quarter. So what we did is we made a two to inch and a quarter adapter so now you can use one Cobra receiver to actually tow your trailer to the campsite, take it off your truck, unload your UTV and then that same receiver will slip out of your truck and slip into your UTV. And let's talk about, you have your truck, you were putting this on there, and you have, what, six or 10 inches high, how do you put your liftgate down? Okay, so that's a great question. So what we did is we came up with a hinging system now, so you can just simply remove a pin, and the hinge actually articulates and it drops the winch down. So what it does, it allows you to drop the winch down, put your tailgate down, do whatever you need to do, and when you put your tailgate back up, the winch can simply go up, kind of rotating, which means that we have a central neutral point. So even if you run an 8,000 pound winch, I guarantee you, Jessica, you can lift this thing up. It's actually counterbalanced. I got it. That's awesome. Wow. Keep creating stuff, man. You're like, you're very useful. I like all this stuff. Um, check out all their new products online at granatellimotorsports.com.